This is Orrin Lee Staley, president of the NFO. I am trying at this time to desperately convey to you what I and a very few others know. I hope I'm successful. Many of you do not understand why the escrow fund is necessary. If you were with a few of us that are seeing the developments and know that now that we can just reach out and almost touch or grab victory that we've worked so hard for, then we would have no trouble of convincing you to do what is absolutely essential to win total victory for the farmers of this nation. Is it important to you? Has the NFO done any good? Is a question you should ask. Is the NFO programs as they are now really operating worth anything to you? And what chance does the next generation have if farmers are not organized? And if we were to stumble at this point, 20 years had gone down the drain, and above all, even though it might be done faster, it would take at least 10 years and it would be too late to rebuild. We have fought the battles which no one thought that we could even become involved in. They didn't think we'd even get started. And today we have a nationwide system of collection, dispatch, and delivery. That we're sending production to almost every major company and every big commodity, major commodity in this country. Because we're performing a service. And as we move volume, it means others cannot get their supplies and fulfill their sources of needs without coming to us. That's the position we've long wanted to be. And on top of that, almost without exception, our members are receiving the best prices available for their products as they go through the NFO. The best of any farmers. And many of our veteran leaders cannot understand that because they participated when it wasn't that way. We've done this in spite of lo losing $50 million in back dues and having already paid $6.5 million in cash to attorneys to fight a lawsuit, which without question in our minds and which will be proven to destroy the NFO. The lawsuit is winding down. It will soon be through the trial stage, and the great costs are passed. We've got the best professional people in our system now in dairy meat, grain. That means hogs and cattle that there is in this nation. We have improved our slaughter cattle price in the last few months, anywhere from three to five, maybe six or seven dollars, a hundred, in relation to other prices and contracts that we used to have. We've improved it that much. There's been a big improvement in hogs. We're getting the right dairy outlets. And in many of the areas, the same applies to grain. All we need is a little more volume to do it all. But we have to have the finances back of us because we have to have big bonds as we build our volume. Big ones. Millions of dollars. We have to have the backing to be able to pay our staff and to get the things that are absolutely essential. I've lost many people 
because of the financial pressure on them. Good people. We can't afford to lose any more. The battle you always knew was a battle against big, big money. Look upon it as an investment. Don't put any more in than you feel that it will do you good or have has already done you good for the value received. But I can tell you that now's the time if we're really going to do the job that we have to have the money in escrow to be able to have the finances that we have to have. We could have fallen short and stopped short, but we didn't. We're there. But we have to go the last few miles. And that takes money behind us and in the escrow. We can't make any promises. But it is put up as collateral. And I believe that our investment in the future, whatever we put, is the only way we can protect ourselves and the next generation is by the participation in the escrow fund.